Hey there, YouTube. Um, I know I just put one out about the X Flare Alert and a little bit of a rant there. And uh, and I always like to do Earth weather as well and geoengineering weather modification. Out here at wunderground.com, weatherunderground.com, we have a unique little mapping system. And uh, I just wanted to show you and take you on a little bit of a tour of your geoengineering network. Right now we have a major storm in the Midwest. Started out as pit diddly rain and now has morphed into this snow thunderstorm mix monster that we have uh, now centering itself as it appears over the uh, Great Lakes. I'm down here in Iowa. Okay. And, um, and this is the rain we're getting here and I just moved through. I'm actually on the uh, western edge here. Can even zoom in more if you want and uh, I'm right here I want you to sh notice the tetail signs of the next rad radar signatures these are not only for radar returns they're there for storm guidance mitigation propagation you name it this is Tesla technology at its finest all these systems are linked together okay as we can see we go out over here to Omaha, more telltale signatures. Now let's uh, go right to the heart of this storm and we will find the main uh, satellite or, or the main station that is responsible for this the current uh, geoengineering that's going on right now for the storm and voila there you go. Let me zoom in so you can get a closer look. See as these beams go out you either cook or evaporate the atmosphere, manipulate those weather mole molecules and other chemical and compounds and uh, things that they put in the atmosphere to prep the atmosphere to make this technology more effective. Um, but as we zoom in even more, okay, some people call these harp rings, you know, just like if you try to a uh, cook a piece of meat in the microwave certainly think you can cook some water in an atmosphere you know and that's frequency interacting on a biological level and I'm just uh, kind of panning out to the nation so you can kind of get a good an idea of the monster that's coming actually all the way off of the Pacific and up and over and wrapping around like this I can include a satellite too if you want to take a look at that which is just incredible as you can see where the storm is speeding up so go ahead and take that off just put the radar up there but as you can see you should also look in areas uh, and it really uh, is affected by the zoom but you can see how these other stations are working in conjunction uh, with the state of Iowa and uh, Wisconsin and uh, looks like Minnesota there's a little involved too. You see on the back side these are used to push the storm and manipulate the storm from behind. Okay so you have these other towers these are all networked together to create your to modify your weather on a micro and uh, large scale. Uh, so uh, but you can find these all over the United States. You take the time and zoom in and out. Like I said, this is a weatherunderground.com. It's got a unique little satellite look at it uh, where you can zoom in. It's definitely harboring out over here. But if you control the zoom, you can see exactly where these towers are. I mean exactly. So you really kind of have to zoom in a little bit, let it uh, take effect. I mean, Colorado is really big on weather modification because they have these Rocky Mountains here. And if you can zoom in, you can, I mean, it literally points right to the location, as you can see, of where that tower is. Okay, it's on the corner of Highland Road and uh, Boone Road, huh? On 611. <laughs> And as you can see, there's a weather front coming out of the Rockies, and they're cooking it as it's rolling out going this way. 
Denver as well. It's got a couple of them actually. There's one here, and I think there's one uh, over. Well, I know there's one outside over here. It's like, why would they need a weather station right here? You know, if you just stuck one high enough on the mountain, I know you, it's dependent upon elevation too, where they work best, but from from here on out, it's totally flat. I don't understand why you would need two radar stations, but I guess you'd have to make them powerful. There's another one south here. Go north up into Greeley. Yeah, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and then zoom back in. But this is just a, a little bit of a tour of your network that you have across to your nation and how they use these towers to manufacture your weather and where they're at in relation and how they're activated during the storms and how they work during the storms. Now this is also like again this is another coincidence uh, that these severe storms are occurring during the next class solar flare event uh, is it a way to protect us from the immediate impacts of such a solar flare and the later impacts when the uh, density of the plasma comes rolling in? So, uh, like I said, if you can join it with the uh, satellite, you can see what I mean. You got most of the Americas under some sort of cloud deck. California takes care of a lot of it with marine layer. It goes in mostly inland. Okay, and the storm is moving from east to west. All this area will eventually be covered in clouds by morning. And uh, let's go ahead and remove that satellite. Let's go back to radar. Uh, so uh, when it comes to daylight tomorrow, we'll, like, we'll, we'll still be under clouds. They'll be under clouds, most of America, by morning, by the time the sun rises. And with chemtrailing uh, efforts, I'm sure we'll be under clouds uh, all day long. So... That being said, I know it's a little bit of a long one, but I really just wanted to take you on a tour here. You can go out to this site yourself and uh, I get to the radar maps there. If you don't know, go out for the nation, you can just kind of zoom around and really point out every single little uh, station that's out there that's responsible for geoengineering. It's not just to show you pretty pictures of where your rain is falling like I'm kind of showing you now, but if you zoom in here to Des Moines, okay, I'm in here in Iowa, of course, that's why I'm going to go ahead and bring out Des Moines, and just north of Des Moines, up there in Saderville Lake. And you'll notice that these things are always installed, for some reason, in nature preserves. You know, I've been finding that very curious. If these are privately run radar stations, you know, that are off, you know, run by the, uh, the, the news stations that say that it's, you know, their next rad radar, or, you know, they got the most updated radar. These are private radar installations. Why are they being built on nature preserves? Why are they being granted access to build that type of technology on na nature preserves? Even if you go over here to Omaha, and you zoom in, and you see here where they build these things. Old Highway uh, 275. This is a nature reserve. This is all waterways and watersheds. Okay. That one's built on the nature preserve. I mean, they're all built in nature preserves. This one over here, Wyoming. You can see lighting up over here. It's built in. Oops, where'd it go? Sorry, guys. You gotta really zoom in to really catch these guys. There we go. And build, let it build the picture. This one here. State park over here. This is on the corner of Highland and Boone Road. But if these are definitely privately run radars, where they're being built on public lands for, that's what I'd like to know. And the same down here. What do we need to, you know, got a lot of weather modifying actually going out in the middle of the desert. 
like uh, south of Yuma. There you go. And let me tell you, a lot of this is nature preserves out here, believe it or not. It's out in the middle of the desert. This is out in the middle of the desert. They actually do a lot of agriculture in this area, but uh, they've done it by geoengineering the area, literally going in there and making it produce with irrigation. Well, now they got a little weathered modifying tower there to make it rain, huh? I used to live out there. I'm telling you, it never rains out there. But yeah, just a little bit of tour of uh, Weather Modification Inc. Like I said, go to weatherunderground.com uh, to check out this map. And uh, you can find the uh, radar stations on your own and get to uh, get a good idea on how they really work. See, uh, you can find them down here. We're going down here, zooming in. In Charlotte. As you can tell, you know, there's supposedly no no rain there. They always say that's ground clutter. But it shows you the power that's actually going out and being used to manipulate these storms. Okay, and, you know, is this all still ground clutter in the air, Virga, whatever these terms are that they're coming up with? You know, you know. anyway, guys. Uh, Thought I'd uh, give you just a little heads up there and a little bit of tour of Weather Modification Inc. And uh, take care of those X class flares that are bursting off on the sun, too. Uh, keep a uh, look on the sun, too. There's some, uh, I, I expect even a higher than an X 3.3 coming out of this one uh, 1890 uh, sunspot. So stay tuned, guys. Bye.